my channel so it is the Wednesday before Halloween and I'm about to throw together a quick little Halloween outfit so I just got this unit from here Vivi this is Trinity um, I'll have all the details for her down below but I'm doing like a cheetah situation and these colors match the dress um, that I'm about to put on perfectly so it's this really pretty like chocolate brown underneath and then it has like the ombre on top hairline is plucked uh, amazing usually their ears right here like the ear tabs are kind of like super thick but it seems like this wig has them thinned out pretty well like it looks so good so i don't think i'm gonna have to do anything to this unit so of course showing you guys the inside it is a 13 by 6 so that's 13 inches from this side to this side and then six inches going all the way back and then you guys know that it has the um, fake scalp in here. If you don't like it, you can remove it. And then it also has the piano key on the side where you can adjust where you put your elastic band. Because How am I supposed to work? Okay guys, so jumping right into this, I'm using Ivy's method to conceal my natural hair because I'm not doing the ball cap method. And this just helps to like camouflage the black that will shine through underneath um, the lace on the wig. So once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my wig cap and then I'm going to apply the wig. is all removed you guys and look how good this looks this is literally fresh out of the box okay so this is what I'm talking about where I just removed a little bit of the forehead area just because it was a little too far down for me and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my got to be glue this time I haven't used this in a minute for some reason I was like let me just use the got to be glue um, so I'm gonna use this and just I don't know why I slid it under like this I haven't done like an application like this in a really long time but yeah, I just went ahead and slid a little bit of the gel underneath the front and then I'm going to blow dry it dry and then do the same thing on the sides except I use my finger. In the back of my mind, there's someone waiting on me. You're just wasting my time because you're scared and lonely. Finally got some closure, yeah. I can finally start over, yeah. That doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face And tell that man bye-bye I'm too fly I'm too fly Bye-bye 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 Here's to the memories Cheers to who used to be Your friend said that you left me and then for a little extra security, I'm going to go in with the EBIN Lace Wonder Lace Spray. I don't know why. I can never remember what it says, and I just looked at it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of that. And you want to make sure that if you spray it on top like this and get it on the hair, you want to comb it through so that it doesn't leave like little crystals and little flakes around the hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie it down. I'm glad that's what you believe, believe. 
So after like five minutes, I went ahead and removed my wrap strip. And then I had a little bit of flaking because it got kind of stuck to my hair um, where the lace wasn't covering. So I just used the toothbrush to kind of scrape that away. And this is what we are working with. It is not going anywhere. And then to get the top to be really flat, I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Lotta Body. You guys know this is my absolute favorite for my wigs. And then I'm going to use my pressing comb just to smooth that down and press everything super flat. We've got a brother that doesn't treat them right. Put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye-bye. I'm so fly. So while my hair is being tied down again, I'm going to go ahead and do some curls. So I'm using this Con Air Infinity Pro Curler. I believe this is a one inch barrel. I'll leave a link for it down below. But yeah, I've had this thing for years and it is still rocking with me and it is still getting hot and everything. But I went ahead and did like some medium sized curls and then I'm going to comb them out to give like some nice waves. This might be right Either you feel it or you don't Might give it a try, yeah Our bodies collide Baby, you're everything I want Let's give it some time, yeah Somebody told me I should hit and run But they don't know, they don't know, they don't know so the top wasn't as flat as I wanted it to be. So I'm just going in with this wax stick and then going to go in with the pressing comb one more time and just get this really smooth and flat. Nobody knows but us how we roll. And then finishing it off with a little bit of jojoba oil. I needed this in the beginning for my hands. But yeah, I'm just rubbing it like in between my hands and using it to smooth down the front. Nobody knows what we got but us, but us. Let them keep talking, let them believe that they know. Cause if they don't, no they don't, no they don't. Let them believe that they know. Cause they don't, no they don't, no they don't. I feel so alive. And then I wanted to add a little bit of color to my part. So I'm going in with this foundation stick and just going to fill in my part a little bit. With you, I'm on flight mode. You move me inside, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then we get disturbed. So many people let me know I should bounce from your world, yeah. And that is pretty much it for this video. Just showing you guys what the back looks like and how full it is. This wig does have some weight to it. Sometimes their wigs can be a little bit thin, but this one was not thin at all. And it had a nice shine. Like they're really good at getting their blonde units to not look dry. Like they're about to like break and be all damaged. Um, so yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. But they don't know, they don't know, they